Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a really cool out of this world routine. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It's super powerful, but it's at the same time, it's super simple to do, which is what I really like this trick for. So, all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, everyone, so let's go ahead and get right into this. So I'll go ahead and take the cards and give them a quick shuffle, just like this, getting the cards good and mixed up. And once I'm done, I would just go ahead and I'm gonna go to the deck and find a random black card and a random red card. These two work just fine. So we have our red card here and our black card here, okay? And these are just gonna be placeholders. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna hand the cards over to the spectator. I might mix it up just a little bit more before I do that. And I'm gonna hand the cards over to the spectator and just have them deal. If they think the card is red, they're gonna place the card here. And if they think the card is black, they're gonna place it here. And they're just gonna keep going back and forth until they're finished. So they think this one's red, they think this one is black, they think this one is also black, they think this one is red, they think this one is red, they think this one is black, they think this one is red. You, you see what's going on here. Um, so they're just going to keep dealing just like this. It can be random where they can take their time to think about it. It really doesn't matter. And we're just going to see how close they get when they're done. So they keep going until they completely run out of cards just like this. And uh, once they're done, we'll check and see just how good they did. Just like that. Okay, awesome. So they've dealt cards where they think they go, they think it's red or black, they put them in these different spots. So I'm just going to go ahead and check this pile and see how good you did. So, oh wow, you actually did very, very good. Check this out, look. I mean, I can just deal them down for you. Look, you literally, red, 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 red. You got all these red cards right, look at this. This is really, really, that's, I mean, I'm not gonna waste your time to deal through them all. I'll go ahead and just show you all. Look, you literally got them all right. And that's like really cool. I mean, the black cards here, Ricky, you got them all right. That's really impressive, so. Good job, that was a trick guys, and now let's learn how to do it. Okay everyone, so here's a tutorial for the trick that you just saw. It is going to take a bit of a setup, but it's not that hard to get into. And that's literally just separating the cards red from black. So as you guys can see, half the cards here are black, and the other half here are red. And it doesn't matter which half is on top or bottom, just have it separated red from black, okay? So now what you're going to do is, I'm going to show you guys a different few ways you can shuffle this while still keeping the red and black order. What you're going to do is you're going to take about half the cards. You're going to peel off about half the cards. And as you guys can see, that's all black, but still enough that there's still like a few black cards on top. In this case, one. So maybe not go that deep, but as you guys can see, there's still one black card on top of this pack here. So you peel off about half the deck, then you're going to start singly peeling off cards just like this until you get over half the deck. So that way I know I'm only peeling off red cards now, and then I can just normally overhand shuffle it just like that. And that does nothing to the order, it still keeps it red and black. So one more time, don't peel off as much as I did that first time, maybe peel off about that much. And so that's all red cards, now I'm peeling off red cards, as you guys can see, that's a red card, that's a red card. You're just going to keep going until you know you've gotten over half the deck, and that you're now peeling off black cards, which I'm sure I am now, so I'm just going to start normally overhand shuffling, and as you guys can see, that doesn't affect the red black order at all okay so once you're done with that you can also do some false cuts uh if you guys aren't familiar with false cuts i have a whole video teaching a few of them so if you guys want to uh, learn a few false cuts i'll leave a link down in the description below so after you've uh quote unquote shuffled your deck what you can do is you're going to go through and you're going to keep note of which pack is on the bottom because you know whenever you do that overhand shuffle thing all that really does is it reverses the colors so instead of red on the bottom it puts the red on top so you just need to go through and make sure you know which pack is on the bottom. So I know that the red pack is on the bottom. And now I'm going to go to the middle here where these two cards intersect just like that. So now we have where the black and the red cards meet. And I'm going to out jog uh, the two cards just like that. And I'm going to show that we have a random black card and a random red card. So now whichever card is on the bottom, you're going to put on your left. So if it's a red card on the bottom, you're going to take your red card and it's going to go on your left side and the black card will go on your right side, just like that, okay? 
So now you're going to take the deck, flip it over, and hand it over to the spectator. And you might actually want to do a little something because they see that this bottom card is red, and you don't want them to know what any of the cards are. So I would just go ahead and give it a quick false cut real quick just to go ahead so they lose memory of uh, which what color card is on the bottom, even though it really kind of stays the same, but they think you're cutting up the deck. So now you've mixed up the deck, and now you're going to hand it over to them, and they're going to deal, if they think the card's red, they deal it in this pile. If they think it's black, they deal it in this pile. So you guys, just like in the performance, they just keep dealing where they think it is. And I'm going to show you guys what the outcome is going to look like once it's done. So I'll go ahead and speed this up. Okay, so now that you guys have, or now that the spectator has dealt all the cards where they think it is, in both piles it's going to be the same outcome. Um... Seeing as how the red is on the left side, the red is going to be on top and the black on the bottom. And same with this side, red is going to be on top and black is going to be on the bottom. So obviously they are half right, um, but what you're going to do is you're going to make it look like they are 100% right. I'm going to show you guys how you're going to do that. So you're going to take the pile on your left side, and you're going to go through, and you're going to be like, wow, you were actually very correct. And what you're doing is you're looking at whatever... Uh, that bottom card is the eight of diamonds and you're just gonna remember eight of diamonds So that bottom red card is the eight of diamonds and you're gonna remember that and what you're really doing right now Is you're checking how well they did so you're gonna say look you've actually done really good and Obviously you're not showing this to them. You're looking at this yourself. This is going to yourself You're not showing them this pack or they will see the black cards But you're taking note of that bottom card in this case the eight of diamonds So now you're gonna flip it back over and start dealing down the cards just like this face down and you're turning them face up Just like that and you're gonna keep dealing until you see that eight of diamonds So you're gonna say look you all red cards. Look at this. Just keep dealing, keep dealing, keep dealing until you see the eight of diamonds. I know that's the last red card because if I keep going, I'm going to deal a black card and I don't want to do that. So now I stop here at the eight of diamonds. You're going to say, look, they're all red. In fact, I don't want to waste your time just dealing them like this. I just take this pack just like this. Now this is just black cards and I'm laying this on top of this pile just like this. So this comes up. It's laid on top of this pile. I'm going to flip this over. So now this is all black cards and then this bottom part is red cards I lay on top of this pack and I spread and that just shows that all the cards are red and all the cards are black and it gives this illusion that you know they were right the entire time because obviously if these were all black theoretically about half the cards would be black and about half the cards would be red so this is actually pretty convincing that they completely got it right and their minds will be completely blown away so this is a little bit of it's not super confusing this is actually a pretty easy trick but just so you guys have the basic idea let's go over it one more time okay so now what you're going to do again you guys can do your little shuffle or whatever just peel off cards singly just like this until you know you've gotten over half the deck and you know it's probably safe to start regularly overhand shuffling and again that doesn't affect the order at all and you can also do some false cuts if you want. You're going to go through, face down, and find out where the black and red cards meet. You're going to pull out the cards. Whichever card's on the bottom, in this case red, is going to go on your left side and black on the right. And now the spectator is free to deal, just like this. Okay, so now you've gone. they've gone through all the cards, obviously. About half the cards will be black on the bottom, half the cards red, blah, blah, blah. You're going to make sure you keep note of what cards on the bottom, the two of hearts. You're going to deal just like this. Two of hearts, I see it. I'm going to pick up this pack, lay it on top, flip that over, lay that on top, and spread this out. And boom, they end up being completely right. But yeah, guys, that is the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a really fun trick. Um, it gets good reactions, and it's pretty easy to do. But this is a beginner trick. A beginner can do this trick. It's super easy to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if we get to 500 subscribers, I am going to do a setup reveal. It has been requested I do a setup reveal. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to get me to 500 subscribers. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.